Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 7 assignment of the course Introduction to Internet of Things. Guys, uh, for the past 5 years, we have been giving the sol most accurate solutions for this course. So hope uh, you watch the full video so that you cannot miss any answer. And please share the video with your friends and classmates guys. And definitely like the video, then only it will be appear in suggestions for other students also they will also get benefited like you so now let's see the first question guys guys i hope almost all solutions are 100 percent correct but if you found any changes to be made please give your opinion in the comment section guys so that we can try to sort it out now let's see the first question dht sensor refers to digital humidity and temperature sensor it means they're asking whether the full form of dht is this or not so for first question the answer is true guys it is true so mark option a now let's move on to the second question second one fill in the blanks so what is a python library used for plotting the data in 2d so the python library used for plotting the data in 2d is option d guys that is matplotlib matplotlib so mark fourth option as correct answer for second question now moving on to the third one third question fill in the blanks so what makes a scatter plot of the given points so dash makes a scatter plot of the given points so for third question the answer is option c that is scatter scatter is a function okay so mark third option as correct answer for third question now moving on to the fourth question fourth one so guys before getting into this fourth question i want to make a small announcement guys so that is regarding uh, exam preparation mcqs so for the course introduction to iot so we have prepared the exam preparation mcqs guys which help you for the preparation of your final exam so i know many of you are uh, lacking the time to read all the lecture materials all the lectures so uh, you are very uh, pressured to study all the subjects so you may not have time due to various assessments or various project works so that's why in order to make it easy for the preparation we have converted the syllabus of nptl into mcqs form so these are a mixture of previous year mcqs as well as our own prepared mcqs so that you can be able to easily study easily cover many concepts of the nptl syllabus 100 percent accurate so we have prepared this exam preparation mcqs guys with five years of nptl experience so you'll get a huge number of 300 mcqs guys 300 number of mcqs you'll get in a google drive pdf link so it's a restricted link so for one person it is just 300 rupees guys so for even for one person last time we have given for 500 but uh, in order to reduce burden on students we have decreased the price so for one person it is now just 300 rupees only guys and for two to five persons combinedly it is 500 guys so if you if your classmates are preparing along with you for this subject you can combine all of this group as a group and you can one of you can uh, mail me to purchase this uh, pdf guys so if you combine from two to five persons each individual person price will be reduced right even though if you are one person no need to worry guys it is just 300 rupees only 300 mcqs for 300 rupees for one person so this is the email id guys you have to mail me if you want to purchase if you want to purchase this pack so i'll give the same email id in the description box as well as in the comment section already many students have taken our pack guys and got benefited according to the feedback from our viewers who uh, took our pack last time so they told that 80 percent of questions came from our material only so i hope this uh, that repeats this time also and already many students started taking for this season also guys so this is the email id you have to mail me for so 300 mcqs guys in a pdf link 
so for one person it is 300 rupees for two to five persons combined it is 500 rupees guys and there is another thing also that is youtube membership so it is uh, you'll get only 100 plus mcqs but the price is just 89 rupees guys so if you want to join uh, this youtube membership for one person it is and for one month and only available in video format not pdf so if you want this 89 membership video no need to ask me you can directly go to our channel page guys so like this eskumar edu if you type in the search box you will get that so beside this subscribe button there is join button right so click on this join button a window will be appear like this and select the second one 89 per month pack that is videos only for members so click on join button again and make payment directly to youtube that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all of our videos guys so here members only videos available right so internet of things part 2 and part 1 are made so and other courses also there so you can get all the other all the courses for that same 89 rupees guys no extra charge needed but my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mcq spec because you are covering many topics in the syllabus which makes you prepare for the exam final exam so my pre uh, preference is it's better to take 300 mcq spec guys so this is the google drive this is a google drive pdf restricted link guys so for one person it is 300 and two to five persons combinedly it is 500 guys so this is the mail id you have to mail me already many students started taking our pack guys so take it now itself so you, so can you you can get more time to prepare for other subjects at the end and you can easily revise even going to the examination hall because these are in the form of mcqs not theory or videos so you can easily remember through question and answer form so that's it guys uh, if you have any doubts regarding this you can ask me in the comments comment section itself only if you want to purchase then only mail me guys already many students have taken our pack and got benefited so now let's get back to the solutions so fourth question what are the two main challenges of hdn so for fourth question the answer is option b rule placement and controller placement so mark option b as correct answer for fourth question now moving on to the fifth one guys fifth question in soft timeout all the rules are deleted from the switch is that true or false so for fifth question the answer is absolutely false guys because it is not soft timeout it should be hard timeout so in hard timeout all the rules are deleted from the switch so mark option b false as the correct option for fifth question now moving on to the sixth one which of the following is a component of hdn So for sixth question, the answer is first two options, both hardware switches as well as flow rules. So option D, all of this is the correct answer. So mark option D as correct answer for sixth question. Now moving on to the seventh one. What is introduced? if a controller is down in SDN so for seventh question the answer is option A guys that is backup controller backup controller so mark option A And moving on to the eighth question, guys. Eighth question Southbound API is used to communicate between control layer and application layer. So, for eighth question, the answer is option B false, guys, because it should be north. 
north bound api but not south bound they have given south bound api so it is false statement guys now moving on to the ninth one ninth one sdn is open flow is that true or false it is absolutely false statement it is not no it's not open flow so mark option b false as correct answer for correct option for ninth question next moving on to the tenth one so tenth question which of the following forwards the sense data based on the id of the source node so for tenth question the answer is option b id centric data forwarding id centric data forwarding guys for the past five years we have been giving the solution for various nptl courses guys so i hope every solution is almost accurate so if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and if i find any change to be given i will update it in the comment section so before the final submission once again check the comment section guys next moving on to the 11th one does integrating sdn in iot provide intelligent routing decisions so for 11th question it is option a yes so mark option a is correct answer for 11th question next moving on to the 12th one are indigo and link open source or indigo and link open source so for 12th question it is option a yes yes they are open source so mark option a guys and now moving on to the 13th one so before getting into this solution i want to once again make you remember guys so for the past with five years of nptl experience we have prepared the exam preparation mcqs 100 percent based on nptl syllabus guys no extra syllabus 100 percent based on nptl syllabus so last time 80 percent of solutions came from our questions as per the review of our subscribers and the students so we we are providing a huge number of 300 mcqs guys which are almost equal to three years questions three seasons of nptl questions so you'll get that in a google drive pdf link so you can easily prepare without any videos so for one person it is 300 rupees guys and for two to five persons combinedly it is 500 guys so this is the email id to mail me bk179 417 at gmail.com so last time many students have taken our pack and got benefited they have scored 75 to 80 percent many students have scored so for this season also many students start, started taking this pack already guys so take it now itself in order to save your time at the end, end of the semester so that you can prepare for other subjects and you can easily revise for this subject also so take it now itself guys to save your time so exam preparation mcqs guys which help you to prepare for your final exam very very helpful for you guys only our channel is providing these mcqs guys so take our pack so for one person it is just 300 rupees only guys and for two to five persons it is 500 guys so if you any members of your class i mean if any classmates taking this uh taking the same course then you can combinely take this pack guys two to five members pack it is just 500 rupees only guys so individual price will be reduced if you take as a group like two to five members and there is youtube membership guys so you can pay directly to youtube no need to message me for this pack but my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mcqs pack because you are preparing for your final exam so it almost covers much part of your final uh, syllabus guys so that's it guys now let's get get back to the solutions so 13th question which of the following is used to communicate among multiple controllers in the control layer so for 13th question the answer is option a east west bound apis east west bound apis option a and moving on to the 14th one how many requests can a controller handle through a single thread through a single thread so it is option a once again that is 
200 requests per second. So mark option A yeah, guys. And moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 15th one. So the final question of the assignment guys. Size of the ternary content addressable memory is not limited at the switches. It is 100% wrong guys because actually the content addressable uh, ternary content addressable memory size is limited at the switches but they have given not limited so it is option b false so these are the solutions for week 7 assignment of iot course guys so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and definitely share it with your friends and classmates guys and definitely do purchase this 300 mcq spec which help you to find prepare for your final exam so that's it guys so keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you